Welcome and interview by DJS PRC. I would like to say thank you to Great Hobbies for letting me do this. Go visit their website www.greathobbies.com. Today I wanted to show you the Sonic Wake V2. If you are a follower of my channel, you'll see uh, that I have a, an unboxing video of the Sonic V1 and running videos of the Sonic V1 um, and they decided to bring out the Sonic V2 and I'll show you a little bit of what's the difference uh, and I do have uh, upgraded video coming soon of the Sonic V1 to pretty much convert it as the V2 <coughs> it is 36 inches it is a self riding deep V RTR uh, it has it is a 1900 kV brushless motor in it it is a four pole and it's it is 50 miles an hour plus you can run this boat on basically two two s's or on a 3s uh, it's 120 amps uh, ESC from Spectra minute it comes with an SLT3 2.4 DSMR radio and you do have two colors uh, the physical black and blue I do have the black one in front of me right now and basically you're seeing what's uh, pretty much the upgrade that they did to this boat they do have adjustable fins to calibrate your uh, your stability on the water uh, they do have uh, cutters on the side the major upgrade is the dual pickup rudder that basically it feeds two lines you do have basically if you do let's say flip your boat it will sink on this side here it will fill up itself with water and this pick up and flip itself and once you start running, air will go in this pocket and exit back of the boat to empty itself. Uh, it does have a ceiling hull, but I always use basically some uh, tape around it because I certain ways when you're running this boat and you basically dive nose first, water will come in. That's why I always tape it anyway to maximize the uh, performance out of it and less chance of sinking it <coughs> like I was saying it's a 36 inch hull v-notch for the people that don't know what is a v-notch is basically if you look at the bottom of the boat it looks like a V if you compare to catamaran catamaran will have two skis on both sides on your main hood you will have four retaining clips two in the front and two in the back let's remove this cover and see what's inside now the cover it's mainly uh, plastic it does have a piece of foam if it does fly off while you're driving it will still float inside the boat itself you're limited in room a little bit simple reason because of this cavity uh, that takes uh, the self riding this fills off of water and reflips the boat but again if you do get water in the boat itself it is packed with foam it will float anyway the back part will be in the water and your nose will be basically floating in the boat you have the 1900 kV motor with the 120 amp smart ESC from Spectrum and what I do love about the dual pickup is one it's going directly to the ESC cooling it exiting the boat the other one will go directly to the motor cooling it and exiting the boat again and one of the reasons a lot of people will do this is you're not you're not cooling 
both items with the same water because sometimes you'll have certain boats that will go in the ESC cool the ESC that is going to warm up that water now you have warm water going in your motor and exiting the boat yes it will bring your motor down in temperature but not like you have the dual feed now having the, the, this dual feed is awesome like I was saying we're able to cool everything down faster because one of the biggest enemy of uh, of brushless is heat you overheat a motor uh, the con will unglue itself and basically eat the winding inside it is a dual connection when you are plugging uh, two two S's in it it has enough room to fit dual battery when you're running on 4S uh, 2 2 S's, yeah, 4S. Uh, yeah. Nice as it is a Spectrum Servo, I would upgrade it to something a little bit faster with middle gears. I'm not sure if that one is. I can't really see it correctly. But personally, I would upgrade that to a better servo this is it is a beefy rod and you want to be able to turn this guy right here nice prop one of the tricks of the trade of uh, any prop is basically to balance it and shave it to the point that it is a razor blade it will cut through the water and give you more speed out of it now it does have the protector on it Again, you don't want to damage this, your, your pickup, or get stuff in the holes in the bottom here that feeds your water. Again, you don't want to starve the boat with no water or running it with no water. It will come hot. But this is the Pro Boat Sonic Wave, Sonic Wave, Sonic Wake V2, 36 inch, self riding deep V. RTR 50 miles plus 1900 kV motor 120 amp ESC from Spectrum if you guys are in Canada and you're looking to get yourself one go visit Great Hobbies www.greathobbies.com and get yourself one you won't regret it it is fun on the water and look in the near future upgrade of the Sonic v1 to the v2 that's an upcoming video thank you for watching if you like this video don't forget to subscribe or hit the thumbs up and if you have any question or comment post them below i'll be glad to answer you have a great one